Stock cars, Formula One, and motorcycle races have all joined IndyCar at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. History was made again this weekend with the Red Bull Air Races, and our Rich Nye was there. A two-day crowd of 62,000 watched a new race just above the speedway. The reception we've had from the fans was a little bit more than we thought we'd have, but certainly uh, also in line with what people do when you have a big event at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, people come out and celebrate it. So really pleased with the crowd. The Red Bull Air Race matches 14 pilots in a bracket elimination tournament. American Kirby Chambliss won his first heat, only to be disqualified for engine RPM slightly too high on takeoff. I just come off the track and, you know, think everything's good to go. And we thought we were advancing forward and it was going to be a great day. And they come over and say, actually, you know, we went to 2954, you're out. In the final four, Matt Hall hit a pylon, costing him second place, which went instead to Nigel Lamb, who retires at the end of the season. Being honest, I'm a tad disappointed because I really wanted to win here. I wanted to be the guy who uh, was the first one to win uh, in our sport at this uh, speedway. But that honor goes to German Matthias Dolderer with a run of 1 minute 3.3 seconds. Congratulations, Matthias. You won the race. Especially to win here in Indy and to get the title here. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's what we were hoping for, what we were aiming for. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, that we get both at the same time is, is, a, is a little bit of a surprise. Matthias Dolderer not only claims his first championship, but becomes the first pilot to claim the championship before the final race of the season. The season wraps up in Las Vegas later this month. At the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, I'm Rich Nye, Channel 13 Eyewitness Sports.